Now this is somewhat of an upgrade slash downgrade. I made a compulsive buy a couple of months ago and as soon as I made the buy, I kind of regretted it and I made a video on it. So let's roll my motherfucking music because I traded it again. I'm kind of a big deal. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. See through to the beat today. So I made a video. I forgot what the timeline is. It'll be in the description somewhere. That while intoxicated, fucking whiskey made me purchase a Miami Cuban Link 15 millimeter 14 karat gold from Daniels. This piece right here. I don't know if you can see the 14 karat stamp, but this piece is a big fucking piece. I have a small wrist, a compulsive buy. This was more so kind of like subconsciously like purchasing a bigger link in solid gold to see if this is something that I would really enjoy wearing more on a daily basis. It has more presence, it has more oomph. It's a big boy bracelet to say the least, but I'm not a big boy. The shit is big. It's too big for a daily for me. It's not something I really wanted, but I thought I wanted. So I've rocked it for a few months. Didn't get much wear at all, to be honest with you. It was just too big of a piece. And I really enjoyed my original 13 millimeter that I had. It was a lot more flexible. It felt more comfortable. It was easier to wear with dress up or dress down. This had no dress up factor. Although I have smaller links that can be chosen for those events, I really liked my yellow gold 13 millimeter. But there's a problem. I recently bought a 24 karat gold pure Cuban link pinky ring and I loved the richer color. I wasn't a big proponent because of the softness, the scratches and all that shit, right? But I started liking that richer color. So I was like, damn, this can start something bad from my wallet upgrading to bigger carats. But a 24 carat Miami Cuban Link bracelet is not something that's smart for me to do. As we've seen, my shit has taken dings and scratches and a couple of bangs on the ring. And I don't wanna see that on a bracelet considering I'll be at the table editing videos, etc., and it will keep banging and banging and banging. I need something with durability. I need something that can take a little bit of pain, but I kind of wanted that rich luster look that I'm now getting used to. So I downgraded back to 13 millimeter and upgraded to 18 karat. This is my seven and a half inch, 13 millimeter once again in 18 karat gold with an added twist. I wanted the diamond button back. I haven't had it in the last couple of bracelets, but I wanted it back, but I didn't want a regular diamond button. I'm cool, I needed a little bit of a twist. I wanted something different. I didn't want to go the colored stone route. I wanted just a different stone. Now a princess cut would have been too gaudy and a little bit too big. Horizontally, it's not what I wanted, but I wanted a different cut. And there's a cut of stone that I really enjoy that is getting a lot more burn nowadays that I figured would look nice not too big, not take away from the actual bracelet, and it's called an Asher cut. And of course, we can't go without adding a little extra shit, so why not add biggest in the game? So this is my 13 millimeter 18 karat gold Miami Cuban link that is replacing the 15 millimeter 14 karat gold Miami Cuban link. I don't know if you guys can see the color difference in the video. Granted, one has a fresh polish, the other one has wear. They're both hanging straight. One has a diamond button and one doesn't, but the 13 millimeter just fits my wrist a lot better. It's more versatile for me. Some people will disagree and that's fine, but you wear what you like when you want. Me, I wanted to go a carat higher with the little Asher cut diamond and go back to my 13 millimeter and I'll hit you with the 18K wrist profile.
spending more money to make more content. This is what I do. The debt levels that I'm accumulating are coming. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. This is going back to Daniel Jewelry Inc. So if anybody's looking for a 15 millimeter, 14 karat gold, I'm sure they're gonna buff it up, clean it up or whatever. And I'm sure once it's in, it's gone if it's not already sold already. So you can call them directly if you're interested in my particular piece and it's already made, you barely will have to wait. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Team 13 millimeter, just works, smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag. When it's time to call back uh, for the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib, hey. it's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>